For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, check out MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, so previously we mentioned that glutamine could and would be transported all over the body via the bloodstream. And the question here is, what happens to the glutamine once it gets to the liver? Well, the glutamine is transporting nitrogen, basically, right? And so, specifically, NH4+. plus. So, if that NH4+, plus that's basically on glutamine, is in excess when it gets to the liver, that glutamine can be converted into glutamate and NH4+, plus, free NH4+, plus, by an enzyme called glutaminase. Glutaminase. So that reaction, we're going to start with glutamine, and we're going to get glutamate. And so we're basically just going to remove that purple amino group. Well, it's not really an amino group. It's attached to an amide. But we're going to remove that purple nitrogen portion from glutamine to give glutamate. And so it's a simple hydrolysis reaction. We just add water, and we free up that ammonium ion. And then, of course, glutamate catalyzes that reaction. Or sorry, glutaminase catalyzes that reaction. And so that, that free ammonium ion can um, basically go through the urea cycle to produce urea. Where is this reaction happening? Well, we just mentioned it happens in the liver, but it's specifically the liver mitochondria, uh, which is why it can uh, eventually go to the uh, urea cycle and produce urea. Now, further, the glutamate still has a nitrogen on it. Uh, that glutamate can undergo a transamination reaction in the uh, liver mitochondria to give alpha ketoglutarate and some other amino acid, and of course, pyridoxal phosphate would be, would be required for that. Or we can have it oxidatively deaminated by glutamate dehydrogenase to give alpha ketoglutarate and a free ammonium ion, and that ammonium ion can also go to the urea cycle to give urea, so that we can get rid of that excess ammonium ion. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.